Hey guys, Alex here, and today I'm going to bring you guys another Mac tutorial showing you guys how to install patterns into your Photoshop system. So, in this case, I'm going to be running Photoshop CS6, and I'm on a Mac here, uh, running Mountain Lion 10.8.2. Uh, so, as you see right there. So, anyways, uh, let's get started. So, the first step you want to make sure you have your in your applications folder. You want to make sure you have, let me just open this in Finder because I'm better at looking it in that. But uh, let me just open this. So, if you go to here, uh, Photoshop CS6. I also have After Effects. Uh, so if you go open up Photoshop CS6, you can click Open in Finder. And uh, what you want to do here is you want to make sure you have this folder. It's called Presets. And you want to scroll down until you have this folder. It's going to be called Patterns. And you want to open this up. Now next, you can just minimize that for now. But the next step is you need to require the internet. And you're going to need to go onto this website. It is called BrushEasy.com. And it's very easy to find out. I'll just have the link in the description. And uh, basically, here are the um, br you can also download brushes, patterns, textures, all that stuff you want, graphics. But I'm just going to do the pattern section. So, as you see right here, featured free Photoshop patterns. So everyone on here, most of them are free. Uh, the highest, most expensive one is like a package for $3.99 at the most. So, yeah. I'm just going to choose this carbon fiber one. So, I click on the image. And I, uh, as you see right here, it's going to say views, how many views, your downloads, how many people download it. So, it looks like a ton of people download it. 303,447. Uh, version CS2. Now this does not matter the version number. I installed a CS1 original and I installed a CS2 before and it worked fine. Uh, number in set 1. So yeah, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to click on a download and then it's going to download right here the, as you see right here. What you're going to do now is you're going to need to head over into your download section. So I just open this up in Finder and uh, op extract. So I double click on this. It's going to extract. Now you're going to have the pat pattern. So it's going to be fiber carbon dot pat or whatever your name dot pat in pat is so what you need to do now is you need to head back into your um, patterns folder that you uh, minimized earlier in the video and what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to go to fiber carbon or whatever pattern you had extracted from there and you need to drag that into the pattern folder just like that now what you need to do is uh, you can close both of, both of these folders now launch Photoshop mine's a trial still so I'm gonna buy the rest once the trial goes out so what you need to do now is you need to, you're going to need to create a new, yeah, 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 sure, sure, who cares. Anyways, um, what you need to do now is you need to create a new image. So I'm just going to create a 500 by 500 pixels uh, transparent color. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, do that. So yeah, what you need to do now, I'm just, just going to make it visible. What you need to do now is you need to go edit and you need to go to fill. And right here you're going to select, it's going to be on foreground color, but you got to go down and select pattern. And you got to go to custom pattern. And right here on the settings thing, what you need to do is you need to select load patterns. And then you're going to select from the patterns folder. You're going to need to navigate to the patterns folder and launch fiber carbon or the pattern that you installed. So remember the name. So click open. And as you see right there, the carbon is going to click OK. And as you see right there, you have a carbon fiber, really high quality um, carbon fiber, as you see right there. So it's really, really good. You can use that, all that stuff. And. Uh, yeah, so I recommend uh, using this website. This is like the only website I would recommend using. I would not recommend using any other one because it's just this is the most trusted one, trusted source. Again, it is brusheasy.com. And that's it, guys. Uh, see you in the next one.